Since its establishment in 1947, Holy Name University has been a front runner in innovative instruction, research, and community service in Tagbilaran City, Bohol. Our students embody the core values of integrity, evangelization, excellence, servant leadership, and social responsibility, equipping them to be competent professionals and committed leaders. Through the years, Holy Name University continued to fulfill its mission with its distinctive hallmarks, such as being one of the eight centers for local governance in the country with PASCO Level 3 accreditation, deregulated status granted by CHED, top-notch examinees in licensure exams, technology of participation trained facilitators and trainers, and highly qualified faculty and researchers, among others. As we advance to a new decade, Holy Name University is taking a leap forward in its dedication to public service and urban development in partnership with the Golden Gate University of San Francisco, California and the United States Agency for International Development, the university created the Urban Development Learning Program. The program aims to impart a deeper sense of social responsibility and cultural identity as we tackle the challenges of rapid urbanization. It promotes sustainability, urban resilience, innovation, and overall good quality of life at a local and global scale. It will equip its graduate students with a deeper understanding of urban and regional development, land use planning, and natural resource use and development merging theory with practice with the goal of creating well-informed planning sensibilities applicable across cities and municipalities. We found partners in Golden Gate University and USAID who could help us in formulating the program and they helped us formulate the initial curriculum for the program. Everything from uh, food, water, health, uh, diversity, migration. So you can see how all of these are interconnected. And as a local planner, the focus has to be on that interconnectivity. In this situation, you have collaboration between USA, you have Holy Name University, and you have Golden Gate University. These collaborative efforts were efforts to, again, bring forth the most cutting edge solutions in terms of uh, what we see will be the challenges of the future. The speed of the world, how we do business, how we travel, how we live our lives, how we eat, uh, fashion, um, culture is all dictated by innovation today. We would like to encourage all the government uh, offices, the department heads, and especially the chief local executives to enroll in the program because we want to enhance their capabilities, uh, their knowledge, and especially now with the technology that is coming in, we want to keep up the pace with technology. For a city like Tagbilaran, with its vision of becoming a highly urbanized, resilient, and livable city, this program would become a valuable force for our decision makers and city planners achieve sustainable development. Concepts such as sustainable tourism, making added value, authenticity and local economy. I encourage engineers, architects, and planning practitioners to enroll in the program. Furthermore, the Interdisciplinary Urban Development Learning Program will prepare its students for the Environmental Planners Board Exam the final qualification to be a licensed environmental planner in the country. So we also want our urban planners to be able to know the different strategies to tackle the different problems of Tagbilaran City. The municipal kagawads, the Sangunian uh, members, the legislators of the province, the legislators of the towns, the vice mayors and the mayors, all of the elected leaders have to be part of this. Holy Name University 
is proud to pioneer the urban development learning program in the Visayas region. Following our vision, a Catholic institution trailblazing excellence in educating servant leaders. Enrollment for the Urban Development Learning Program is now open. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this uh, In Focus series. Today, we're bringing to you live from Holy Name University in Focus Urban Development Learning Program. In Focus is a series of virtual panel discussion um, to explain to our stakeholders, to present to them the programs of each of the college and uh, centers for of Holy Name University. Without further ado, may I give you the panelists for today's In Focus on Urban Development and Learning Program. May I give you the Director of UDLP, Dr. Anne Mariket Periquito Upus. Good morning, Kip. Good morning, Ver. Good morning to all of us, especially the panelists. So as Vera said, I am Anne Mariket Periquito Opus, uh, currently the Director of the Urban Development Learning Program of Holy Name University. So maayong buntag. Welcome. Yes, Thank there. you, Kit. Good morning. Uh, we morning. have uh, Ma'am Linda Paredes, Dr. Asalinda G. Paredes uh, of uh, USAID Surge. Good morning, ma'am. Morning, Vera. Morning to my fellow panelists. Morning to the learners and participants of Holy Name University's uh, Executive Diploma for Urban Rural Development. I am uh, Rosalinda Linda Paredes. I am currently the City Program Coordinator of the USAID Surge Project, which is implemented in Tagbilaran City and some areas of the province of Bohol. So welcome to this forum. Thank you, Ma'am Lins. Good morning. And uh, we have uh, Dr. One of the panelists is Dr. Loris Hamero, also Boholana. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, and she, and if you can please um, introduce yourself and your affiliation yes. and your um, your involvement in uh, the UDLP EDURD of HNU. Sure. Um, so yeah, good morning to uh, everyone who's watching our live stream. Um, so I'm Lori Samero. I'm from Tagbilaran, and now I am the head of the Resilience Collaboratory of Manila Observatory. And I'm also working with various international organizations, such as the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, uh, really trying to lay out the physical basis of climate change, um, and, of, and also joining uh, the Science Advisory Network for uh, the Southeast Asia region. And I'm very pleased to be part of uh, the UDLP EDURD program. I am currently a visiting professor uh, with Holy Name University, and I have been co-teaching um, several subjects. Um, and of course, I am sharing everything I know about um, climate risk uh, assessment uh, and all of the important work that comes in between. So welcome to our panel discussion, and we hope that you can learn uh, a lot. Um, and please ask us a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you very much. And uh, from uh, across the um, across the, uh, many miles away, um, we welcome uh, Dr. J. Gonzalez, uh, Professor J. Um, please say hello, good morning, and uh, introduce yourself. Thank you very much for welcoming me, uh, my uh, swing partner, right across the Pacific there. Uh, in uh, so. You know, I, I'm so happy uh, to be, uh, you know, to be part of this uh, webinar today. Uh, happy and excited because, uh, you know, I've been working on UDLPs for the last three years. Uh, and, uh, you know, to see it grow, you know, uh, it's like, you know, it, it's a different, it's an, indescri it's an indescribable feeling uh, <laughs> that you get, right? Uh, I'm Professor Jay Gonzalez, Mayor George Christopher, Professor of Public Administration. 
here at Golden Gate University in San Francisco, California. We're a 120-year-old university, and we're an MOU partner of Holy Name University. Uh, and we are, you know, so I, I and my team, I'm very happy uh, to have helped something uh, that has grown into what it is uh, today. So thank you very much. And I look forward to having this uh, conversation uh, with you tonight. Back to you, Mom Vera. Thank you. Uh, my, you're coming from my uh, favorite uh, place where I left my heart. <laughs> and I long to visit uh, soon. So uh, from one of the students, um, and the president of the ICMA, uh, and he will explain what that means later. Uh, we have architect Nino uh, Jairus, what is the first name now? Jairus Nino or Nino Jairus Gidaben. Uh, let's uh, say hello and good morning. Okay, good morning. Maajung um, buntag sa tanan, maajung buntag Bohol, maajung buntag Pilipinas, maajung buntag Tibuok, Kalibutan um, for Everybody who's listening to this um, In Focus uh, forum, uh, uh, thank you for inviting me and being one of the panelists. And um, I am architect German Janus Nino Gidaben. So um, blame my parents for naming me that very long name. Um, anyway, um, yeah, I'm, I'm very glad no, that... Um, I'm I'm one of the panelists because I have I, I really want to share the the learning um, experience that I got uh, through through this uh, program and um, being a professional as a professional architect, um, I somehow uh, realized that you know that training that I had in college was you know uh, just a portion of, of of it. So this this program now that I'm experiencing is actually an extension and it's really broadening more the the, the experience no so uh yeah maybe we can we can talk more later so thank you thank you and good morning everyone thank you very much for that um so in focus is a series of virtual events and we already did the college of uh, education the college of business and accountancy the college of uh arts and sciences. And uh, today we are doing UDLP on Monday, we are doing the College of Health Sciences. On Thursday, we are doing the bed or basic education and the rest of the department colleges. And then hopefully we will be doing um, the different programs also. So today the focus is on the urban development and learning program of Holy Name University. Without further ado, let's deep dive into conversations regarding the UDLP and EDURD. Um, we'll start with Professor uh, or Dr. Uh, Opus. And um, the first, may I ask, what is the uh, UDLP? And the others can also share um, what, uh, what it is and how it started, uh, what is the idea and who were the people responsible. Yeah, okay. that's. Um... Tough call there. <laughs> I'd rather please call me Professor Kit, ha? Okay. Bugat kayo ng nai doctor da. Because my daughter's a doctor. May yung rabasyang ganung na doctor na doko. <laughs> anyway, good morning once again. Um, long story short, um, this is really a blessing in disguise, no? The UDLP, HNU UDLP program, specifically the initial offering of this program, which is the Executive Diploma in Urban and Regional Development. So we want those listening to know that this is just an initial offering of the entire program of Holy Name University. So it started to be conceptualized uh, in mid of 2019, an offshoot of, of course, the focus group discussions done at the time by the city government through the efforts of the USAID search of which Mam Linda Paredes is uh, the one leading. So uh, there were discussions and there was an, uh, a need no there was um, the, there were what was identified as a need then was a course that will help shape uh, future environmental planners so fortunately HNU took the cudgels from there and what was actually so inspiring was of course the partnership no? 
I'm always beyond words when I really speak about this. I'd really like to uh, thank Golden Dink University, of course, with Dr. J here. Uh, they've been so, I don't know, beyond motivation. It's really selfless, no? Just a phone call away and they're there. They're there. Kasi it was really a tough call to start with their uh, very new program. And while we were conceptualizing it, a few months after the pandemic happened, so the, the, the challenge was, how can we start a program? People are out of jobs, you know, and then how can we have classes? But little did we know that when we tried to develop the program with USAID Surge, with uh, GGU, because actually what also inspired us was Dr. J and Dr. Willie Grit came all the way from the U.S. to visit us in Bohol. No? It was still at the time, no, hindi pa ganun ka stricto ang ating mga quarantine uh, anyway so anyway um so we developed a program and when we were told by HNU when we're gonna start because this is actually very the first program now we made it in time for the new you know diba we shifted Jed shifted to a new uh, schedule of the semestral uh the the semester so uh this is the the first program that we offered in August no so we decided then uh, to make it 100% online. And then, uh, Ma'am Linda knows this, we had a problem even no, with the enrollment because not because we had a dearth of uh, enrollees, but we had a lot of enrollees who wanted to get into the program. So, and then, you know, in the middle of the pandemic. So, everything, that's it. And then, make the long story short there, this program actually is HNU's uh, First, for coming up with very relevant programs, sustainable programs, and we are just so happy that with these partnerships, it is realized. Yeah, I, I hope I, I said it right. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Uh, Thank Mom you. Lins, uh, Mom Linda, do you have anything um, to add? What was uh, what transpired before? I remember I was documenting some of the UDLC uh, uh, meetings so yes ma'am um if uh professionals here in bohol and tagbilaran desire to enroll in aim far away aim or get into programs of established and distinguished learning centers like the development academy of the philippines or the local governance uh, academy of the dilg which is based right there in Quezon City, we have right in our doorstep here in Tagbilaran City a version of a of the same quality of the same caliber as AIM and also the University of the Philippines uh, School of Urban and Rural. Yeah, the the US, yeah, SERP and uh, NCPAG and, and and LGA and DAP. We have right here in our midst, and that is the Urban Development Learning Program of Holy Name University. So I am really happy to be part of its birth, to be part of its growth, and to be part of its future. Um, Surge is not uh, going to be there forever. As a matter of fact, we are on our extended year this year. Soon, we will take a bow and we will say we have done our work for urban development, for resilient and inclusive and livable cities in our urban development program. So we need to be behind an institution that will take the cudgels of continuing capacity development for urban, learn urban development and planning. So, when we explore that possibility together with architect Nino, who is our uh, HNU ICMA student chapter head, I did not think of any other institution except Holy Name University, as I am a product of this school and I've taught in this school for 28 long years. And I have seen how the Holy Name University absorbs development assistance because I have been part of its institutions now, like the Research Center, the Bohol Paul, the Center for Local Governance. 
So Holy Name University came to my mind. And that story has been narrated to you by uh, Kit a while ago. So where would you want to be that will give you access to AIM, SERP, DAP, and LGA-like uh, learning programs at a cheaper cost and very accessible than here at Holy Name University? So why go far when we have right here in our midst? Holy Name University has a heart for Bohol and, and Tagbilaran City. So we hope that those who will go into the program will also have a heart. This is a postgraduate course, a postgraduate diploma course, where we want to see the translation of our learnings. As Nino said, gone were the days that we want to absorb all knowledge, all inputs, all lessons, and then for, for purposes of getting good grades. This time that we are professionals, we want to absorb as much as we can because we want to make a difference in the life and in the lives and in the places that we are at. So Holy Name University Urban Development Learning Program will help us get our work done for Tagbilaran City and also for Bohol Province. I will talk about how and what we can do when we get into the program later as we move and progress in our discussions, Vera. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mom Lins. Very, um, I, it's very close to my heart because I was one of those that uh, was documenting uh, the process before, before I came back to Holy Name University. And uh, very timely that when I came back, um, there was the birth and then I was uh, heavily involved in marketing. And so here we are. Um, campaigning for enrollment for the next batch, especially that we're opening the next school year. Uh, Professor Jay? Yeah, I, I was going to chime in. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, just to add to what uh, Mom Linda and uh, Prof. Kit have already uh, uh, stated, and, uh, you know, architect Gidaben. I think uh, when I came there and we were going to, you know, I, and I've been to Tagbilaran three times and I went to HNU two times really to, really to feel you, to feel. Because I wanted to feel if you want it. Uh, you know, I don't want, you know, it, it's not, I don't want it if you don't want it, right? So I, in, in those two visits that I did, I felt it from the staff, from the president, from Brother Miloy, from meeting architect, uh, you know, Didaben and the architects. We had this, you know, planning session, you know, you remember that time, the, all the architects, the practitioners, the LGU uh, officials. I met with the mayor. I met with the governor at that time. I felt it. I felt that, you know, uh, you wanted it. You know, I felt that, you know, before, you know, us, you know, those who are, of us who are raised in Manila, oh, you know, the, you know, Tagbilaran, that's a provincia yan. No, but not these days, Tagbilaran is highly urbanized. The same problems in Manila you see now in Tagbilaran, right? The flooding, I was surprised when people, you know, architect Gidavina, they said, oh, it floods here now. The streets are crowded here now. You cannot park in certain places now here. You know, we have problems with the traffic. I said, wow. And they said, the students, the students drove this. The students, the prospective students said, that's why we need a program. These are our issues now. We need to think of solutions. We need to think of innovative solutions to this. You know, that touched my heart. If I'm going to give back to the Philippines, I want to give back to this program. And that is why I'm just a viber away from Prof. Wow. Kit and Mom Lindy. You know, I am just a viber away from, you know, from them. Uh, they wanted me to speak on Spawn Cities to prevent flood control. I am here. Uh, they wanted somebody to uh, speak on systems change. I am going to grab my colleagues to, uh, even though it's evening here, we will do it. So that's how important it is. You wanted it. And so here it is. And I'm sure you know, many of the students also want this to continue because you see the value. 
you have produced a world-class program much better than the, 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 than the universities and the institutes that were mentioned earlier. I know. I came from those universities. I teach at DAP. And I know their limitations. You are very nimble. You design the program. Prof. Kit said, oh, the students wanted this. Want this to, uh, you know, they, they need, we need a spe special lecture on this. Based on that demand, we answer. None of these institutions that uh, Mom Linda mentioned can be as nimble and swift as that. The program you're going to be joining is that nimble and that real time, that real world, that fast. Back to you, Mom Vera. Wow. Uh, I have no uh, words to describe uh, the feeling of awe, the feeling of... Uh, joy that uh, we are we have that right in our very own university and and much more because we have a new president who is very dynamic and is very welcoming to all these programs so um prof kit um so is um uh, is um uh, udlp uh, opening more programs after ebrd you can answer that later but uh, what is the what is the vision and mission, or what are the what are the uh, plans mm -hmm. for um, UDLP? Yeah, a very um, just a very quick because the vision mission, of course, it takes a, a lot of you know discussions. But HNU's vision for this program actually is to come up with or graduate professionals who are who have a deep sense of social responsibility and cultural identity. That is why the program is not just focused on environmental protection, environmental planning. It also is geared towards ethnic diversity, cultural identity, even, you know, as Professor Jay said, no, because um, our students, I, I actually regularly speak with the students what are, because they know better. They are the ones in the field. These are professionals. They just need this program to, you know, hone them better or more. So even negotiation skills, social marketing, we are going to get that. So not just disaster risk, a lot because this is sustainable development. And if I remember right, uh, Dr. Lau, she was even discussing about the, 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 the whole pe spectrum on where this is leading. And then even governance is a part of it. So the UDLP is towards that deep sense of social responsibility and cultural identity of which I guess the province of Bohol and the city of Tagbilaran is of course geared towards also. So it's really, a, uh, you know, the, it's a collaboration there. So we are hoping that the program, because this is going to be not a reactive program, if there are demands, we will have to take a look at it. If this is really the, the real issues that we need to face, and that is what HNU is geared towards. Yes. Wow. Thank you, Thank you very much. So for um, our viewers and those who are watching us live on our Facebook, we're also live in our Zoom account today. Um, the UDLP is a partnership uh, at the initial stages is uh, given birth by um, help by USAID Surge and of course, Holy Name University. And we have the Golden Gate University in San Francisco, California. I'm hoping that uh, I can go back there and join the graduation of the first batch uh, should uh, the borders or should uh, COVID um, uh, allow us to travel. So who are the uh, other partners uh, other than these? And then we'll deep dive into EDURD because we have our first uh, batch here and uh, the president and we have Dr. Lau who is the, one of the visiting professors. Get, um, other than USAID Surge, GGU, HNU, are there other yeah. partners that we have? We also have professors, visiting professors there from the Uni University of the Philippines. Okay. Yes. Uh, actually, most of these linkages were actually the ones given to us by USAID Surge. It was not really difficult because they had in their network, you know, they offered... Uh, this is one thing good. GGU and USAID Surge, they're so generous. Like I said, if a, a student says, Mom Kit, I think we need this. 
So I'm the mouthpiece of the group, no? So as the director, so I, it's true. Professor Jay is just a viber away. Uh, even in, in international, um, you know, per personality like Regine Palma, you know, uh, if you don't, if you have not met her, check her on Google. She, I didn't realize she was such a figure. She was just a text away. So, you know, we have a lot of partners. UP, we also have, I think, Ma'am Linda in Leita. I, I forgot the university, Ma'am Lin. Because these are the, this is the network that uh, USAID Surge and GGU introduced us to. Yes. Wow, thank you very much. So it's a, it's a program that you uh, join and you pay this much, but you have all this access to right. different um, fields, different people, different professors. So... Uh, yeah. Let's jump right into the EDURD, the first program of uh, UDLP. It's called the Executive Diploma in Urban and Regional Development. Can we start with um, Architect Nino here, his um, uh, input or his uh, experience on uh, EDURD? Yes. Um, uh, good morning again. Um, actually, um, backtrack. Um, and, and to connect to Mam Linda and Sir Jay's um, discussion no, a while ago. Um, actually, it was very inspiring to hear both Mam Linda and Sir Jay in two different instances. Mam Linda, for so long, uh, I've been with, in, in consultation with some programs of the city with USAID Surge. And as a, you know, as a thriving um, architect, professional, living in the city and in Bohol, I always see beyond, you know, what's now, what's in the present. Parang, I, I wanted to see um, things done, um, you know, uh, the better way, the best way even. And what I see from abroad, um, I just felt that why can't it be done in our own place? Why can't it be done? Can, can it be implemented in our place? It's very simple. Or it's very achievable. So when I talked to Mom Linda about that, so, so I said, Mom, is it possible to have this program for professionals, not just architects, engineers, even those uh, in, in government, so that there is a leveling. You don't have this gap between public and private sector. It's like it should not be a, a two different you know, agencies or two different entities. It should be one. So... As, as Boholanos, as, as people in, in the Philippines, I hope that we get the idea that, you know, it's not two different things. And good thing that, you know, Mam Linda is like a mother. Uh, and a mother really, you know, takes care of their children. So, and Mam Linda said, let's see what we can do. And then this happened. And then Sir Jay came for a visit. And there was this seminar, which mind-blowing, like, he compared San Francisco to to a Oriental uh, country like China and the Philippines, and compared everything, and even zoom in to Bohol, and then wow, um, it's all related. And you know, why do we see Bohol as submissive than the other, you know, countries? It, it's not like that. It's like what you know, what these countries you know have done. Uh, best in their in their practices can be applied here, and what those done in those countries that were not really good should not be done or repeated in our place. So, you know that was one of the you know inspiration why I really um, enrolled uh, in the in this program, and I wanted to include all the other you know um, architects, especially in my in my chapter in whole chapter to this program. But anyway, talking about the the program, I'm, I'm very happy no? and very humbled to be elected as the president of our chapter, um, especially considering that my classmates are my... I'm, I'm the youngest, I think, with my, with, within my, my, the pioneer class. But it's very humbling, actually. Very, very humbling. And because we have classmates from Singapore, from Mindanao, not only in Bohol. So... Can you imagine that? You know, it, we're, we're global already. And um, it's very humbling being elected together with uh, Mamayet Gasatan as the vice president and um, Holini, uh, I mean, Mam Glenda Maniwang as our PRO. And 
of course, I'm very happy, you know, with, with HNU being our chapter um, member to ICMA or the International City County Management Association. Um, it's um, it's uh, indescribable. Baakanga ni ni Sir Jay. It's indescribable how everybody just puts in their energy, their time, their knowledge, their skills. You know, Doctor Doctor Lau here, uh, who's based in Manila, is you know putting in her knowledge back to to her hometown, and uh, it's very inspiring. Very inspiring because when Mom Kit asked us. What other you know topics do you want to discuss? And then when we say this one, mom, this one, and just after a week, okay, we have a speaker for that one. I'm like, wow, um, grabi kayo ang ang kuan ba ang ang effort that you put in there, and it's um, there's no other way that you know a certain entity or a certain university who has put. A, a heart to this to this program. So holy name, uh, salamat yun kayo together with with GGU for for coming up and for you know putting step uh, forward for for this program. Kay, can you imagine all the uh, aside from the very good uh, professors, no, uh, Sir Jerry Araneta and um, Sir John Vistal and Father Estomo and now. Um, Sir Lustpo. Um, we had also speakers like Engineer Evan Arias who talked about road network development planning. We had um, Professor Jim Hines of GGU who uh, explained and discussed about systems thinking analysis. It was my first time to hear about that. And, you know, it's, it's very um, enlightening that certain things can be, you know, programmed and adjusted to the way, you know, how you see things and how to adjust, you know, um, all your thoughts and skills, especially towards your relationship to, to your co-workers and to your, your, your profession. And one uh, very good um, talk also was by Regine Palma about placemaking. Because every time I see problems in the community, I said, uh, Mom Kit, can we have this talk about this so that we'll be enlightened? If what we're really doing here is 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 uh, good or is it not, you know, that acceptable? So somehow it gives that assurance that you know what we're doing is good, and sometimes it also assess those talks assess us that oops, uh, I think this is not the best way to do it, or maybe we could do something, you know, on on. Uh, about this um, project being done now in, in the city or in the province. So um, it's not, I, I, I think this is not only a course, it is not only a, a, a program by, by a certain university, but it's more really of a, an advocacy, I think, of all those who enrolled in this program. We, because we wanted to see change and we wanted to create a better world of which sometimes we just talk and talk and talk, but we don't do something. But through this program, you know, all this talking and something going on in our mind is being administered academically and slowly goes back to the community through our work, through our profession, through our careers for those who enrolled in the program. And um I, I i i really see it um yeah very very inspiring so i'm i'm talking a lot yes uh <laughs> sorry so back to you mambera thank you very much for such a young uh my man uh i've met you at the teatro porvenir because you were the <laughs> one that uh, drafted or made the stage the stage but uh you I can really see um, a very good future for Bohol because of all these uh, the young minds and especially you. Thank you very much for that. Um, I'll get back to you, um, Mom, Ki, uh, Professor Kit, about the, uh, if you can, Nim, you already mentioned um, the, the first batch. I was going to be in that batch, right? 
Yeah, I know. Just... You reserved for it. <laughs> I, I wanted to be in there, enrolled in there, but when the president said, ah, tell me who will enroll because they will be uh, looking for jobs somewhere else. Anyway, but I'm very happy that I've joined in many of the lectures also because I've been invited. So, Mom, uh, Professor Kit, can you tell us about um, uh, briefly about who are the people in the first batch and then... Um, are we, um, do we have a number for the second batch? I mean, uh, is there like a number of slots and what are required and who yeah. are qualified? Yeah, uh, first on the qualifications there, uh, you will, for as long as you have an undergraduate in any field, so that will qualify you. No? So even if you took political science, you're an architect, you're an engineer, you're a doctor, we even have lawyers there no? in our batch. I think for the first batch, we had like, I think, three lawyers. And now we have a new enrollee who's also a lawyer. So varied fields. For as long as you just have your diploma, your undergraduate uh, degree, then that's good. You're good. And then uh, what else is this? Um, um, what, what was that again, Vera, the question? Uh, uh, almost... What are the... Uh, who, who are the notable people that are uh, currently okay. enrolled and... How many yeah. slots do we have for the next batch? And oh, yeah, the starting? slots, yes. Yes. We limited it. Actually, there we were, we're limiting it to 30 students per batch. No, okay. But uh, we in the first year, in the first semester, we already actually reached 31. But because of the pandemic, uh, some of them actually uh, did not uh, you know, finish the course for one reason or the other. But on the second semester, usually, Sana, we, we would not have accepted but uh, we have very, very uh, motivated individuals. They wanted to enroll, so we got eight more. So the, this first batch actually is made up of 24 students. Varied fields. No? Like I said, we have a lawyer, an architect, municipal planning officers who, you know, who just are short of the license for environmental planners. Yeah, so these are most of our students. Some are employed in government. Mayep here is in the private sector. Of course, you know, Romel is uh, managing a, a resort, no? Hotelier. So, walang, no, no limit, hotelier, okay? No limit. Some even own construction, you know, businesses. Wow. No, uh, bottom line is, you know, what's pulling us together is that deep sense of social responsibility there and cultural identity. I think that's the common, uh, that, that's what's binding us. Yes. Uh, yeah, yes. yeah, that's it. So we are hoping, no, we limit it to 30, but uh, if we can, we will accommodate more, but we are really more of, you know, because this is online, it's so difficult to manage a very big class. Okay. So we will play it by ear. Uh, I, I hope that um, in the next few semesters that we will go, uh, we will have more. Uh, please just reach us, no? If I may, the, the email ad is udlp at hnu.com. Uh, PA, uh, that that edu, edu that PH. That PH. Okay. So please, uh, because we have a very reliable uh, staff also that's assisting me, so please email us on any of your uh, inquiries. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. So, Thank you very much. So we have much. like the whole, the whole EDURD is that like how many semesters? Is there a summer ah, okay. program? Or... Yeah. Okay. This is a 21 unit course there. Uh, so we have like... Uh, nine units for your basic course and we have also nine units for your specialization for hnu edurd we are specializing on environmental management or planning these are the three major subjects required by the republic act that's mandating for you to qualify for the board examination for environmental planners so that's the area of specialization so and then we also have an uh, on-the-job training, which is on the second year, no? six units of OJT. So relatively, it's a short course. It's actually, you can be done in three, four semesters. Okay, so that's just 21. Like I said, the nine units of specialization is that required by law for you to qualify for the examination for environmental planners. Yeah. So this first Thank batch... You. This first batch, they already had two semesters and then yeah. they will be enrolling in another semester and then the OJT or yes, how does that yes. work? Yeah, uh, for the first batch, actually, there's just they're just short of one area of specialization and the two, uh, the six units of OJT for next sem. Okay. Yeah. 
So yeah. is there a summer uh, offering uh, or or uh, okay. first semester? Yeah, um, our summer classes actually we we didn't have we didn't intend to, but because we have new students who want to graduate along the first batch, ah, so we okay. might be offering. Yeah, okay. uh, we I just met them last night, and you know they were yeah I I told them this is the tuition. They're okay. I mean you know, mag magli maayun bitaw This is so inspiring because students are pushing you, mom. We need this. We need this, and you know. Wow. So uh, I don't know what they're in a hurry when they're probably getting married. Or <laughs> Pero, you know, so we are offering summer. No? Okay. Yeah, we are offering summer. That's, yeah. Thank you. That's good to know. So Dr. Lau, happy birthday. Um, yes, um, what is your take on this? And what are your um what how what do you think uh, uh, the advantages or what are the prospects for um uh EDRD and UDLP. Right. Thanks, Mom Vera. So, um, yeah, I guess I wanted to share with everyone, you know, why urban planning is important in the first place and what real impact we can make on our communities because, after all, we're really, you know, looking to, to give back uh, our knowledge and expertise to our own communities. Um, and so touching upon your question as well on what are the possible prospects, I'd like to take the example specifically of um, environmental planners uh, working in, in local government settings. Um, essentially, if you're an environmental planner working with the LGU, um, you contribute to and, you know, if given the opportunity, you also get to facilitate the creation of various local plans. So from CLUP or the Comprehensive Land Use Plan, LDRMP, that's a local re disaster risk reduction management plan, LCCAP, um, local climate change action plan, local development plan, annual investment plan. So there's, you know, a whole gamut of plans uh, that you really, uh, we really need to just for compliance, um, although they are required. But really, um, it's important, uh, urban planning is important because it really guides the programming and also the overall vision of our local, local, local leaders and also their um, initiatives. And it really not just opens doors for you as a planner you know, to create impact uh, on different fronts, but you actually open a lot of doors for the government itself and for your communities because without these plans, you would not be able to access things like um, climate financing, for example. Um, yeah, that's the relevance of, that's the type of work that you can do, um, you know, as a future environmental planner. Um, but, you know, in making these plans, it's really not enough to have technical expertise. You can all have, you know, all the degrees, um, and all the training and still be not, not become a good environmental planner if you are unable to really listen um, to what community is doing. Um, so as ENPs, uh, you should be able to design a planning process that really genuinely involves, you know, not just the key decision makers, but also the ordinary people, uh, because they would be most familiar uh, with their issues at the community level. And we are completely aware of this um, at the UDLP. And we know that this is a constant challenge. And so we are really working hard with our students um, you know, to, to help them and ourselves become more creative in increasing this participation and, and really making sure people's voice through in the government's plans and action. And this panel has already talked a lot about this, but I would just like to, you know, really highlight that um, the EDU, e, ED, UDLP program, sorry, UDLP, EDURD is um, good. It's a great program, not despite of being based in Tagbilaran, but precisely because of, you know, being based here. Um, I cannot overemphasize the importance of really knowing the local context whenever you are planning, especially in urban um, planning, you cannot just you know, take one problem from a different place and take their solutions and apply it to yours. You have to have a really deep understanding of your own problems and what, you know, what solutions are appropriate for you, considering your resources, um, your culture. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm so happy that uh, Mankit, as Mankit shared earlier, 
um, you know, we are really look, working at the local context, but also we are welcoming a lot of people. Uh, we are trying to be as diverse as possible. And um, so in, in the law, uh, urban planning education is a prerequisite for becoming a licensed environmental planner. But with UDLP, there is no prerequisite to joining. We welcome everyone as long as you have the heart um, for sustainable development and, you know, uh, really giving back to the community. And so we are really trying to do to just for everyone and, and just you know, do our part in making sure that we have the right, not just quantity, but quality of environmental planners that is needed here locally and also, you know, in the country in general. Yeah. Wow. Thank you very much. Uh, Mamlin, Mamlins? Ma'am Linda, do you have uh, something to add to that? Um, I, I would like to continue what Loris has uh, started, focusing on what can you do and what can you be? In other words, what can you become out of joining or taking an urban development learning program course at Holy Name University? I would like to dwell on four things first. Your planning skills will be enhanced. It's what Loris has mentioned. Whether you are with the private sector now or with the public sector, important. we cannot leave new things, innovations to just come by chance. You have to plan for this, especially with the advent of smart technologies. All the more is planning made easy and I should say mandatory. Um, I would just like to cite an example for our uh, LGU partners here, and even planning specialists who are joining us now. The Mandanas Garcia ruling is already in effect starting 2022. This will give local government units additional money, a windfall so to speak. You know, the era or internal revenue allotment or allocation comes from the internal revenues, from the revenues excluded there before the Mandana's ruling was decided by the Supreme Court, excluded was custom duties. And you know how much custom duties add up to. And the Mandana's ruling mandates that custom duties are included as national income. Bahinon gid ni sila sa tanang mga LGUs o ipatong o iapil sa ilang IRA. So there is going to be another national fund transfer and that will start in 2022. So now is the planning time because you cannot just leave LGUs to do whatever they like because they have already so much money. There's got to be development planning. There's got to be urban planning. So I'm not going to dwell on that because that's a big topic. If you want to dwell on Mandana's ruling, invite Congressman Chato. <laughs> <laughs> a, different, a different session. Yes, yes, uh, different session. That. Second, yeah. second point, urbanization. Urbanization is here to stay in Bohol. I'm not even talking of Cebu or the highly urbanized cities right here in our midst. We cannot escape from urban development. Our municipalities are getting urbanized. Tagbilaran has a vision to be a highly urbanized city in the right way by 2030. So we need planning. We don't need, we don't want our cities to be urbanized the way other big cities like Metro Manila, Cebu, and even Iloilo, as what Dr. Professor Jess has stated, we want to plan it in a nice way. So all the more do we need planning. Uh, so we need to manage the urban growth of our cities, of our municipalities. Otherwise, we are going to suffer urban problems and urban issues, which are just more difficult to manage. My third, ah, uh, Talibon, Tobigon, Hagna, uh, Ubay, and the central part of Carmen are already candidates for urbanization. 
gilimitahan lang karon ang creation of cities no by the league of cities of the philippines but when that moratorium will be lifted you will see a lot of what uh, municipalities wanting to apply to become cities okay third point what can we be what can we do with udlp your own professionalization as what loris and uh, marikit has mentioned it will be your stepping stone for an ENP course. And I don't have to expound on that because you need units to certify you to qualify for the board exam, okay? My fourth is to me the most important, your personal mission. We are professionals, we're earning a lot or some money already. It's not anymore the age of certification or getting good grades or adding a diploma or certificate in your name, but it is the age to give back and to pay back to our community, to the environment, to other people. So your personal mission, as you acquire new knowledge about urban development, urban planning, should be to make sure that your localities and your organizations are well planned, well organized. We make sure that our cities is the best. Our city, Tagbilanan, is the best city. So we cannot just live for ourselves only. So we make noise, good noise, nice noise to make the city a better place to live. So this is my challenge to our urban development students. Thank you. Thank you very much for that, uh, Mom Lin Sun. And I hope that um, there will be a, a more and others that, um, that who are listening, especially who have not enrolled, that will also be inspired um, by the first batch and by everyone that has um, seen what the program will do for Bohol and even beyond. Um, anyone else who would like to chime in can, on can that? I, uh, yes, yes. Can I chime Professor in another, uh, on, on, the, on the education we're getting, right? So yes, yes. Here, really, like an external examiner looking at you, and I, and I, and I'm, you know, GGU. We came in. We we went into course learning outcomes of uh, you know what you're getting there, uh, the education you're going to be getting in HNU which means we, we influence, we co-design some of the courses that you are in right now, from the program all the way to the courses, uh, which means they are comparable to the courses that we teach here at American, Univer you know, American universities. GGU is, we are number one in the United States, four years in a row for working professionals particularly in the field that you are trying to go in, right? Your urban development. We have an urban innovations program here. And our urban innovations program mirrors yours. Why am I saying this to you? Which means you shouldn't see yourself as only a person with, after you get the skill set from the program who can help in the Philippine context, in the Bohol context, in the Tagbilaran context. I'm telling you, that you can go international, that I hire people with the skill sets that you are getting. I bring you with USAID teams with me uh, overseas. So that's how critical it is. Wow, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I'm sad that I did not enroll <laughs> in the first batch and become a pioneer a student. Anyway, um, sir, uh, architect Nino, um, would you like to add or? Um... Yeah, um, um, yeah. I, I just like to add um, to what Sir, sir Jay Gonzalez have said. No, it, it's really a a verification, uh, and and you know this that uh, what we're learning now is really. For global practice and and but still implementable locally i mean we have that we call it local it we are globally competitive but we're lo working locally so it's being local citizens so um and i'm very glad that you know sir, sir jay um uh said that um and and it and it's very um 
uh, humbling also to know that when we graduate with uh, as HNU as our um, uh, university together with GGU or Golden Gate University, so it's as if we you know we studied in San Francisco, so, di ba? Um, it, it gives also a, a premium also to the to the course that you know we we both graduate in an international um, institution and um, I hope that for those um, people who are uh, listening and watching us now um, they get inspired also to enroll in this in this program because at the end of the day um, it's not only um, all about you it's about you and you know, the people around you and the environment around you that matters. Um, it's just that if you have that heart for, for um, environment and for urban, uh, urban planning, um, I hope that this course will actually help you, especially in the technical side. Because uh, every time, I, you know, I, I, I attend class, um, I haven't been absent yet. Um, hopefully, I won't be absent. But uh, every time I have this class every Saturday, um, there's always a, a new thing. You know, there's always this new learning. It's there's always this ah factor. There's always this ah. So I see ah. That's why it's happening ah. So that's why it's being done this way ah. That's why this LGU is doing it this way ah. I think that LGU is not doing that the proper way so there's always that you know thinking that you realize that everything is not really perfect and you want to see things you know how it's done properly um we don't we don't criticize you know lgus who have not done it properly but at least somehow you can even influence them and you know encourage them to i think this is the best way to do it or just just how mom linda have said it's you always make a good noise, you know. You don't you don't polarize everything. You have to, you know, be proactive in the way you you deal with things. And that's one thing um, that I learned, you know, indirectly with the the way I learned through throughout the the course. Um, um, it's very nice huh? that that you realize all of these um, technical things, you know, um, being being done around. Uh, your 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 place. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, are there any more um, additions? I'd like to share. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Lynn. I'd like to look. I'd like to look ahead to excite some more our learners, UDLP learners, and future learners interested to join the program at a future time. I, I look ahead to uh, the enhancement of the program to the to include. Um, water and sanitation systems, uh, an, an urban uh, urban center could not live without good, sustainable water and sanitation systems. That would include septage, sewerage, probably discussion on drainage to avoid flooding. Uh, Tagbilaran should look into that because we are already uh, seeing telltale signs that we have these issues in our city. Second, I'd like to look at uh, the UDLP embracing financial management systems, public financial management systems. As I've said, in the future, LGUs, in the near future, LGUs will be receiving money, money that they will also be more accountable for to the national government. And they will be absorbing a lot of functions from the national agencies into the local government. Because the Mandanas Garcia ruling carries with it a more devolution of national functions into the local government unit. Public financial systems are important. I would also like to see our UDLP exploring strategic asset management. You know, the LGU is an owner of huge and great assets, very expensive assets, large tracts of land, buildings, uh, uh, physical plants, equipment, and so on. And they don't, they don't value these things as much as the private sector does. Uh, I would like to see you know, more 
innovation and urban designs integrated into your lessons. Even if these are technical inputs, but I am sure that the non, uh, the, the, the other professionals will welcome. Then we will weave that with ICT applications, GI appreciation of, of, of uh, GIS, uh, appreciation of dashboards, and all these things, oh my goodness, I love to see all of us doing this in our organization linked also to the city's database. And this will complete our picture and more and more coming in as we widen our horizons for urban development. So that is giving you a foretaste of what I see having uh, been with you to start this up. I look ahead of a great future of a brother, of an enhanced curriculum that we will be exploring. And Professor Jay is saying that you are already starting your connect with GGU to include these interesting courses. So let's soar high, UDL PHNU. Yep. Thank you. Uh, and, and, I and I wanted to add, right, you're joining me at this university, uh, you know, I'm so amazed at how fast and, and, and you know the doors that I'm seeing, they don't just think about ideas; they do it. I mean, when you work with Mom Linda and Prof Kit, these are not think just thinkers; they do things. Things will happen. So uh, you know what Mom, Mom Linda is saying. I'm sure it's gonna you know it's just gonna happen, and not not one year from now. It might happen like two months from now. <laughs> right? Yeah. So uh, the, 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 uh, be careful. Uh, when you join each and you know, be careful. You know, you gotta be careful because uh, they, they do things, right? The other thing about doing, which is mentioned by Loris, by Attorney Gidaben, by Mam Linda, is that uh, you know, yeah, architect uh, Gidaben is that you know the the the, the vision of uh, HNU is about servant leaders. So if you you if you think you're getting this diploma for yourself, you're wrong. You're getting it so that you are able to make a better world. For you, no, for others. <laughs> you're going to be thinking about others all the time. Yeah. And you're going to be thinking about pedestrianism, bikeability, walkability, not just for you, for your children, for your grandchildren, for the future of Tagbilaran, for other people, for those who are poor, those who are hungry on your streets, women, the youth, you know, the indigenous peoples, those who don't have as much as you, you will be you will be dedicated to them. That is why you are getting this degree. That's why you want to get this degree. Men and women for others. Wow, thank, thank you. you. Am I taking that as a commitment to, um, <laughs> yes, Kit, uh, Prof. J, am I taking that as a commitment uh, from you and GGU for uh, how many years of the program? <laughs> Well, you know, I, uh, now we're going to commitments in international partnerships, right? So, which is very important. Uh, so, GGU is committed to you. Uh, Mom Linda already told you, surge is going away, USAID. US, you know, USAID projects, they come and go. But our memorandum of understanding with HNU is forever. We are linked forever, right? You know, uh, as long as both parties want to continue, it will continue. And I feel it will continue beyond me in my lifetime. Wow. You know, as future leaders at the university say, we need you, we will continue. We'll, you know, I, I was waiting for this uh, batch to come over to San Francisco because I have so many things to show you, wow. right? I was waiting for you to get on the plane <laughs> to, to come here. I, there's so many things that we can show you. You're most welcome here, you know, at, at GGU. Uh, we, we, you know, we want to open our campus, uh, you know, to you. So uh, the international the partnership, uh, the co-branding, the support, 
uh, you know, it is there it, and, it, and it's forever. The second thing is architect Gidaben, right? Nino Gidaben. He fearlessly took on and became the first president of ICMA. ICMA is the International City County Management Association, like Golden Gate University, more than 100 years old. It is an institution in the United States. It is the, it's the prime contractor that runs uh, the surge program, strengthening urban resilience for growth with equity. You have a chapter at uh, HNU. You just you you know you 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 just uh, send them an email. They will give you guest lectures. They will give you guest speakers. They already gave you uh, free membership, student membership, which is more than a hundred dollars. It's free because you have established a chapter. You said we want to continue, uh, you know, uh, you know our relationship with I ICMA. Uh, most cities in the United States are urban cities and so you know we you know we, we share we have a lot in uh, in common right uh, they, they have workshops they have seminars you know so so you're connected to GGU and ICMA you know forever wow. uh, so 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 that's the commitment that uh, you know that 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 we have, uh, you know these these two organizations that are based here in the United States. Uh, our part, are, you know, our, our is part and parcel of uh, HMU. Wow, well, thank you very much for that. Well, the time is uh, ten oh seven, and how fast that time went. I know. Um, yeah. <laughs> And I hope that uh, our viewers, our listeners, our, we're putting this on um, YouTube, our YouTube channel and Spotify and our uh, radio station, the audio part, so that others can listen even if they are not watching the uh, live streaming. So um, hopefully we will be able to um, share all this information with the whole of, uh, well, there's a lot of um messages in the chat box kit um yeah. there's also a lot of messages them, yeah. <laughs> there's yeah. also a lot of um, them, yeah. comments in the official facebook page uh but yes. um do we have time to um take up some of them or would you like to take up some of them or um actually there i mean i just say this um udlp edurd is listening i am listening and uh, I'm more than inspired to do what I need to do because I know what HNU wants. We really want to be partners in the government and the private sector to, to achieve sustainable development. So if you want to be inspired, you want to even be champions of you know, inspiring the next generation. Uh, let me just say this. When in, in the seminar or the webinar that Dr. J did with us i saw his daughter uh, on the sponge city design that to me was a clear indication about what this is for not for me not for the students even but for the next generation and if you saw her dot da his daughter oh my god she even knows more than i do that was really inspiring so if you want to be a part of a culture that will inspire the new generation. Then let's go and roll at HNU's EDURD. I think that's all that I can say there because I'm really overwhelmed by all the support and the commitment and the trust. So we are listening, like I said, and see you in the program. Thank you, Vera. Thank you very much. Uh, Dr. Lau, uh, words of advice for um, the present and incoming students of uh, EDURD, UDLP? Um, yeah, so as I've shared many times uh, with different audiences, we are working against the, the clock. Uh, we have nine years left, actually, to achieve the sustainable development goals and to avert the climate crisis while also trying to deal uh, with the pandemic. And so if you want to be part of this um, you know, global movement towards a better future, not just for us, 
um, but for our children. But definitely in our lifetime, we have to do something. Then please, please do join us here at UDLP. We're looking forward to having you. Okay. Architect Nino? Yes. Um, for, for all those who are uh, listening and watching, um, I just want to assure you that um, if you enroll, uh, not just for the sake of you know getting a license for ENP, but if you enroll, make sure that you know you really have that heart, because um, it takes passion to do this. And um, if you are empowered already, um, um, getting this course would actually deepen your heart for the community would actually deepen your knowledge on how to you know be of good use using your careers your own jobs everything and it's only in this course that through you know um dr hamelo that you can actually you know uh, compute the rain how, how's that doc the the rain Rainfall it's really projections. rainfall yeah. projections. And because you can compute this in the next, you know, how many years, you could actually um, design or, or advise the type of, you know, plants to plant in this kind of, of places. And can you imagine that? Um, and, it, it, and it would actually, a scientist like Dr. Hamero can actually explain that, you know, you know uh, in the, the whole process of how, of how to do it. And uh, it's mind-boggling that ah, there's really a system of how to do it. And if you don't enroll that, you would not really realize that everything has science, really. And it's it's not pure, you know, pure um, passion or whatsoever. But taking this course would actually give essence to that passion that you have. So uh, I hope that you would enroll. Uh, I encourage especially my colleagues in, in the architecture profession, um, especially that uh, we had, you know, uh, um, this uh, prerequisite already of courses, especially in our five-year course. Um, I should say, kuwang pana, you know, it, it, it's still lacking. Um, taking this course would actually give more essence to what we really um, uh, got licensed for. And, uh, even to engineers, to lawyers, to you know, to to all other professions, if our own field of expertise is you know blended together with this course, I think we'll really have a you know a really a livable city around us, a, a livable environment around us, and um, I hope that we get inspired by by the people. Um, putting in their hearts and minds into this course. Sir Jay, Mam Ma Linda, Mam Ma Kit, uh, our, our professors, Dr. Hamero, Attorney Jan Vistal, Engineer Araneta, Father Lors Estomo, um, Mr. Marianito Luspo, and all the other you know, visiting um, lecturers. Um, um, I think if we continue this together with GGU, oh, and hopefully we could graduate Physically in GGU, Sergey. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Most, most, I want to go. Welcome. <laughs> most welcome. Most welcome. Yes. Yeah. Um, you know, um, uh, I think uh, you know, we 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 really we, we will really have a, a very good uh, place to a, a good world, a good you know, um, better place to live in, and yeah, it's it's very true. As as young as my age now, um. I really see that you know what we're doing is not really for ourselves. It's it's really for the future generation. It's really for for our children and our children's children. And uh, who else would do that? But the generations of Mam Linda, Mam Kit, Sergey, up to my generation, and hopefully influence the next generation to continue it. And thank you for 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 this. And thank you for really for for this program. Wow. Thank you. Uh, last round, uh, last words of advice before we close. Last few words. Uh, yeah, I'll, 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 you know, I'll, I'll say something. So, you know, the, 
what this pandemic has taught us, us meaning you there in the Philippines and me, us here in the United States, is that planning is really very, very important. Looking far ahead and planning to mitigate is very critical. You are in a field that's most needed, uh, you know, right now. Right now here in my city, the city of San Francisco, we are, we don't need masks anymore. 80% of my city is fully vac you know, vaccinated. And it took planning because we are ahead of other US cities in thinking, in our foresight. And it's because of our environmental planners, our urban planners. They thought about this. They visualized this in their models. So th th that's how important what you're going to be getting into is for the, for the future. It is for future pandemics. It's to mitigate the effects of climate change, which is real. So plan for it. And, uh, you know, it's, you know, planning for, you know, takes con a conscious effort uh, in your part. Back to you, uh, Mamber. Well, thank you very much. A lot of ideas today. Heavy, some heavy, some uh, hard. Um, what? <laughs> um, very um, close to our heart and very, um, uh, we have to think hard and really be forward looking. So thank you very much for that. Um, uh, is there anyone else who would like to say something? Uh, the last uh, few words. Kit, Mamlins, Dr. Lau. Uh, I think we've done, we've said enough. <laughs> yes. But uh, just like we mm. said, thank you very much, Vera, the marketing team, for this opportunity. Thank you for gathering us together, these esteemed uh, panelists that we have today. So, like I said, let's be a part of this, you know, um, advocacy of Holy Name University for to protect whatever we have and what's left of us to make this a better world cliche it may be but that's actually what we are here for so holy name university is open its doors once again to be partners in government and the private sectors thirst for genuine sustainable development we want to be a part and we know how we can do it so join us and see you at holy name university Thank you, Vera. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Um, Mamlins, last words? Okay. Yeah, uh, as, a, as a final uh, uh, closing statement, I, I would like to uh, congratulate most especially uh, Kit Opus. Listening to you, Kit, I could just remember how we started two years ago. And thank you for... Um, for allowing yourself to be an instrument for the for the establishment and the growth and the progress of the UDLP, uh, I think you've done a lot. You've um, you've walked your talk, and uh, you're able to connect with your students. And uh, thank you for staying on. I knew uh, what was in your heart when we started, but yet you kept on, and then you stayed on. So thank you very much for the students. Be inspired that the world out there is waiting for you. Uh, a lot of things to be um, to be transformed, a lot of things to be reformed. Uh, but all these changes we cannot do alone. We have to work together. But first and foremost, you have to be transform yourselves. So the transformation begins because we want to be the change that we want the world to be. So please know that surge or no surge, I will always be there. I'm an ardent, ardent stakeholder of Tagbilaran and an avid advocate of sustainable development and good governance. So I will be with you at all times. So I will be your guardian angel or your fairy godmother or your grandmother. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, thank you very much for that. Um, 
And that's the commitment that uh, goes behind the USAID uh, surge um, lifetime. Um, anyone else would like to say um, something before we close? We will take note of, you will take note of the messages in the chat box, hit, no? And then um, also in the Facebook, and we will answer them uh, one by one. Uh, I, I, I just read one comment, and uh, Professor Jay said, if, if I left my heart in San Francisco, he left his heart in Tagbilaran. Isn't that very nice? <laughs> okay, um, and so... Um, we are uh, now in the end of our uh, InFocus uh, UDLP. I want to thank our panelists, Professor Kit, um, Ma'am Linda, uh, Doc Lau, Professor Jay, Architect Nino, and all the students of UDLP who are uh, joining us in um, Zoom and all those who are watching us uh, in uh, our Facebook live streaming. This will be available there forever for anyone to watch and uh, know uh, what it is about and be inspired to enroll. Our Facebook page uh, will con also contain announcements on enrollment schedules and um, other, and other activities updates. We do have a website, it's hnu.edu.ph. Our Twitter is hnubohol. Our Instagram is Holy Name University. Our YouTube channel is Holy Name University. And uh, the audio files of this broadcast or this uh, podcast will be in Spotify and in it will be aired in the DYJR Johnson Radio in the city of Tagbilaran. Once again, thank you very much for joining us and we hope to see you in our future programmings. We will play the video um, of UDLP just uh, uh, to close uh, the activity today. Wait, sir. <laughs> Hold on. Resume. Since its establishment in 1947, Holy Name University has been a front runner in innovative instruction, research, and community service in Tagbilaran City, Bohol. Our students embody the core values of integrity, evangelization, excellence, leadership, and social responsibility, equipping them to be competent professionals and committed leaders. Through the years, Holy Name University continued to fulfill its mission with its distinctive hallmarks, such as being one of the eight centers for local governance in the country with PASCO Level 3 accreditation, deregulated status granted by CHED, top-notch examinees in licensure exams, technology of participation trained facilitators and trainers, and highly qualified faculty and researchers, among others. As we advance to a new decade, Holy Name University is taking a leap forward in its dedication to public service and urban development in partnership with the Golden Gate University of San Francisco, California and the United States Agency for International Development, the university created the Urban Development Learning Program. The program aims to impart a deeper sense of social responsibility and cultural identity as we tackle the challenges of rapid urbanization. It promotes sustainability, urban resilience, innovation, and overall good quality of life at a local and global scale. It will equip its graduate students with a deeper understanding of urban and regional development, land use planning, and natural resource use and development merging theory with practice with the goal of creating 
well-informed planning sensibilities applicable across cities and municipalities. Furthermore, the Interdisciplinary Urban Development Learning Program will prepare its students for the Environmental Planner's Board Exam, the final qualification to be a licensed environmental planner in the country. Holy Name University is proud to pioneer the Urban Development Learning Program in the Visayas region. Following our vision, a Catholic institution trailblazing excellence in educating servant leaders. Enrollment for the Urban Development Learning Program is now open. Wow, um, thank you very much. And we are signing off. And um, thank you very much, everyone. Salama. Uh, thank salama. you. Thank you very salama. much, everybody. Salama. You. See you. Okay. See let's you. let's you. watch the um, live streaming. Can we have a photo session, Greg? Yes, ma'am. Uh -oh. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Hawa ng uban. Ang hawa ng bitaw. Oh, bitaw ato. Ibalik sila. Ah, uh, let me uh, <laughs> dili kay kuan man eh kanang nakapin man gud tatanan katong panelist but ah, now we are ah. we are uh, karon tanan na ni. Ah, uh, si Professor J. Oh, uh, ah pero man naman tay recording. Ah, naman um, yeah. Naka-record yeah. man ta ma'am so we we have we do have that. So, I will end okay. so that the Facebook uh, live is also uh ended but let's see who are here let's show them who are here. Uh just yeah, so they the know the students are here. We have uh, so Romel, uh, kinsa yung mga naani? Um, Gloria. Na ang Zamboanga. Na ang Zamboanga, Ver. Wow. Yeah. Zamboanga and Singapore. <laughs> Singapore is here. Singapore. Oh, Singapore. <laughs> wow. I see. Uh, Sorry, Gabi, ma'am. Nakalimot. Sir Jerry, Sir Jerry is here. <laughs> okay, uh, sir. Is this Joel? Uh, Jerry Mani. Okay, we we wax ni. Well, the hero man siguro. We we wax ni. Okay. So thank yes, you. Yes, we wax. Oh, you open your camera so we can have a group picture. Okay. Sige, one. And Glens. Salamat. Thank you very much. Salamat ka ayo. Live pa taha. We're still live on Facebook. Okay. One, two, three, go. Okay. More ni no. Tapa si Glenda. Okay. Screenshot, Kat. Okay. Thank you. I'm closing in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Thank you. 3, 2, 1. Thank you. Thank you.